What's up everybody? So it's finally winter. It looks like pretty muddy and soggy out here. On and off snow. There's still a bit of snow on the trail here. And it's supposed to get sunny in a couple days, so we could be riding on the line again. But yeah, I kind of expect this weather for the next two months, get through the winter, and we're in full build mode right now. So I wanna show you how everything's looking so far and what we got going on here. Okay, so the top is just around the corner above where I'm aiming right now. And then you come into these two speed gaps. This is not my trail, we just fixed this up. It's a pretty well-known trail in the Comox Valley. I'm not gonna say where because it's low key. It's not on trail forks. But those who know it will be stoked to know that my line comes directly off this. So you kind of get through this flat section here. Um, and then there's a little jump. The main trail goes up the hill and then dips back down. My line goes through here. We have it blocked off right now and we're keeping it that way until the spring. And yeah, it stays pretty flat, but it's really flowy now. We did quite a bit of touching up. You start off with a nice little speed gap into a corner here. And then from there, ooh, it's packing in pretty good. Yeah, so from there, you go into a left-hander, nice long steep turn. And then we're into the main line. So yeah, I love this section. Just the corridor through here looks so sick. It's gonna shoot really nice. We got some nice little rolls at the start here. And then you go into two little gaps in a row. So this one's a slight step down, not too long, maybe like three bikes long of a gap. And then immediately after you land, you're popping off again right away into this thing. And this thing's really fun too. It sets you up with the perfect speed for the step down. So we moved the step down lip back about five feet. It was too, too long before, so, or too short, sorry. So hopefully that makes your speed perfect now. Before you would not even pedal from here, you would just cruise and then you would land about a bike length down this landing down here. So now you should land right at the very top, carry way more speed for the step up and you should just be able to blast that thing so well now. So I'm really stoked to get that going. Oh, it looks like there's a tree down right above the lip. Luckily nothing hit it, it looks like. Let's take a look. Whoa, slippery. All right, just a little guy, that's no big deal. Everything's holding together. Okay, so the step up is right here. It's basically a tabletop just because we had to cut out of a hill. So it's pretty forgiving. You got the lip down there where the little fallen tree is and then up and over into this big landing. We have the landing nice and steep. So you just rip right down it. It's nice and long too. Right into a long punchy berm. Punchy meaning it's long, but the curve in it's pretty tight at the end. So nice and gradual coming in and then you just rip right out of it. I started stacking dirt in the snow here a few days ago. So it's nice to look at it in the in the open now that I can kind of see what I did. Yeah, so I think there's enough dirt there now to shape that up. It's looking good. And you'll come through a nice fast S turn here. I'll probably throw in a roller or two through this flat bit. And then this will be the lip for a step down. And then you'll land on the next hill where that little chopped up stump is right there in front of us, right there. And yeah, that's a few bikes long as well, nothing huge, but you'll carry really nice flow through it. And then it's just a straight shot down to the big booter at the bottom. So you're gonna land then right away, you're gonna air off this again, where my feet are, and land as far down here as we can build the landing while still leaving enough space for a nice long lip. So this whole hill we're looking at now that I'm walking on, that should get cut into just like a nice long landing, probably all the way to that stump right there. So that'll be sweet. You'll carry tons of speed down it. It flattens out and 
considering how flat this is and that it's in such a low spot, it's actually really dry. I'm, I'm surprised. So I got some nine foot posts here. I'll dig them a couple feet into the ground. And the idea is gonna be to have a seven foot tall, 16 foot long lip right in here. So it'll be a nice long radius, but still a steep jump. So this thing's just gonna blast you to the moon. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. And then you come up the hill here, we have all this extra wood for filler and, and framing up a landing. And there's a natural hill right here, but it's way too short of a gap for how big that jump will be. So my thoughts are what we will do is we're going to frame up a landing probably at the bottom of this hill. And we'll have to go like 10 feet up in the air. So that landing is going to be, that'll be the big project. We have lots of material to work with here. It's really nice. And then it's kind of a mess afterwards, but fairly open. So we just got to cut up little stuff and clear it off the ground. There's no trees to cut down or anything. We try to avoid that when possible anyways. It's always really good to use what's here and utilize the deadfall and not kill anything while we're in here. Um, and then from here, yeah, I don't really know what's gonna happen yet. There's lots of options. We can go up this hill some more because we'll have tons of speed. Could build a hip jump into that bank. Could go this way and cross the creek. And then there's a potential to do a full length trail all the way down to the river on that other side of the creek. So lots of scouting to do still. My goal for the winter is just to get everything finished to the spooter right here. And then yeah, it's gonna be an awesome place to session and send it. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that just broke. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Just a quick walkthrough. I was driving by the area and I didn't have any rain gear on me or anything. So I thought I would just come by, check it out, give you guys a walkthrough so you can see how it's going along. Um, it's coming along really well and I'm pretty pumped. I'm gonna try doing these every week just so I can keep track of my progress and how things are going. I also think it's gonna help keep me accountable for actually getting shit done and yeah coming out here when I really don't want to. It'll be a bit of motivation because I'll need something new to show you guys. So whether or not you find these interesting, I would love a comment below. I'd love your feedback. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.